done by Diggity 12 o'clock location. We have RTG advancing to the final match. He's going to go up against DM White starting 6 o'clock location as the Grey Terran. Sorry, Grey Protoss. So, latently kind of rooting for RTG. This is on blind side, by the way, which is was part of, I think... I didn't see that map coming. Yeah, didn't see it coming. <laughs> it was one of the maps from, I think, the previous... I want to say, like, the pilot program to the New Worlds map contest for the Shinhan, the Shinhan Tank Pro League, which was kind of a foreigner uh, league. It did end up getting played on by some pros because of Caster Muse and some of the stuff he's doing in the community. Also, I just realized, at least for all of the BSL casts I have not done thus far, I'm so sorry, Zero. <laughs> I keep screwing this up. I didn't put up the uh, iconography for Bombastic Star League and Esports Fund. Everybody make it up to me by going to bombasticstarleague.com or going to the Patreon and adding some stuff or be sure, being sure to check out all the stuff they're doing uh, out in the world. Seeing a pylon in the base, so we're not going to see any cheese right off the bat, at least. But it's possible. I don't know. We'll see a 12 next or something like that. But Blindsight, it's a weird map. Uh, I think you can reveal it on your side and look at the weird features. Interestingly enough, RTG building the... So he's not going for a wall, and he's going to go ahead and build that supply depot right in his front. Instead of, yeah, doing the typical thing we see, which is the Terran Wall. Yeah, hey everybody, Mole Trap here for another cast, by the way. Since Diggy forgot to mention... Oh, I forgot to say it was a dual cast. In his introduction, other than my random... <laughs> people just thought it was like a normal cast, and then some random weird voice from the ether was cracking dumb jokes in the background. Anyway, good to cast with you again as Diggity. And I have never seen this map before in my life, so yeah, I've revealed it to kind of look at what's going on. And it is very weird. Now these little like up and down ramp thingies at the at the choke point is that uh, is that basically just two ramps? Next yeah, to it's each just other? two is ramps. That how that works? Yeah, it's kind of like the ramps you see like mid map typically on other maps. Where anyway, okay. we are seeing a factory opener. We have a refinery uh, there at the corner, so we're not going to see 14 command center or anything like that. But that barracks hugging the command center to provide that typical wall. But no Zealot to start, maybe because of the length of this map, Cybernetic Score, that is kind of a distance to travel. Which is, yeah, it was risky, because honestly, if there, if it was Proxy 2 Gate, I think it would have been really tough to defend. Um, but another Supply Depot, just to the right of that. Kind of interesting construction interior to the base, I don't know, from RTG side. Cybernetic Score just about finished. I think he probably could have squeezed the Marine between the barracks and the command center and put, like, SCVs around it. Front able to deal, theoretically with it that way, as might have been what he was going for. But yeah, a little bit interesting that he's not trying to take that natural expansion. And I'm just going to point it, just kind of mention, in case anyone else is new to this map too, I'm just looking at it, I'm noticing, yeah, it's kind of normal. You've got this weird ramp choke thing into a normal choke point out of sight of a natural. And there's also kind of this weird, like, semi-island expansion on the side, which is, which I'm noticing, which might oh, yeah, play yeah. into the late game. We'll um, see. But it looks like it's Spoilers are probably not, actually. It's, it's it's a weird map, but it looks like like the general construction of it seems to be, you know, what you would expect. But He's... in any case, yeah, we got the factory going up, and on the other side of the map, um, we do have Proxy Tech up uh, left hand corner. Oh, I DM... didn't even see that. Yep, the DM White blends in with the 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 map. And since I have reveal map on, I didn't see it. Interesting. Yeah, so we got some goons being created. We got range about halfway finished. A command center being taken out. The natural, but. I'm assuming we're going to see Robo, either Proxy Reaver, potentially Proxy DT. We'll see if this SCV can go ahead and get scouting information in the main. We do have a Dragoon out the front and a second Dragoon. I'll see if they just blocked the ramp. I guess they're trying to do the forward blockade. Oh, this is... They need to kill that SCV. Okay, they do kill that SCV because honestly, even seeing the missing pylon can be an indicator. Not seeing that third pylon in the base can be huge. He did see a lack of expansion, though. So that's at least some information that the SCV got. Second SCV making its way out. Let's see if it can find a way to get that scouting information. Command center on the way. Factory, only a single factory with mines and a vulture. And this is going to be a little bit of a later tank, and that tank's not going to have siege tech. So I am a bit concerned about, I don't know, we'll see what the proxy tech is, how long it takes, and if RTG is going to be able to defend it. Yeah, very likely going to be proxy reaver tech is my uh, expectation here. Um, into and he, he may you know he may just use this to harass and then go for an expansion after this is kind of what I would expect. 
Um, but it's going to be difficult to to deal with it. I mean, he's he's putting pressure on the front here as well as you would normally expect in like a straight up game. Even if the robo was in his main base, it would kind of see the same exact thing playing out. And the tank is going to come out and be able to combat those dragoons. He doesn't have enough dragoons because of this early tech to kind of dive in and kill the tank. Actually, the tank is taking some thought shots here. Uh, do you want uh, Moltrap in the meantime? Go ahead and turn up your volume because that's the comment I'm getting from chat. They're like, you're too quiet. I'm not sure uh, if I can. I think you can turn it up to your side. Uh, I think I can, yeah. But uh, Tank taking some pot shots. It's staying alive. An SCV scout managed to sneak in. It saw the two gates. A Dragoon looks like it might eat some mines out here on the front. And yeah, uh, there. But upper left-hand corner, we do have a shuttle waiting and a Reaver being produced. I think because of that SCV scout, scout uh, sneaking through, RTG knows something's coming. He does have two factories up. He has a lot of vultures being produced. Vultures have don't shoot air, and they don't do the beefy damage that tanks do. He does have an engineering bay up, though. Um, and he's getting at least an initial turret. I think that's a turret. Uh, next to his command center, he is building another turret near his... Yeah, he's seen, building some turrets around to try to defend against this. Yeah, he, he, he might be able to do okay against this. If he's got uh, mines in the right places, uh, it's going to trip up the reaver as it drops out. He's going to have turrets in his main in really nice spots as well, so it's going to be less maneuverable. He's going to be forced to kind of drop at the exterior of the base and try and pick off the turrets and what have you. Here comes the shuttle in right now. He's got a Reaver and a Dragoon, but actually the turret's not in the best place to actually cover the supply line. He should have maybe built up a little bit higher up, and so he's going to be able to keep the SCVs off of the mining in the main base while he assaults that turret. Now the turret is gone, which is going to mean he has complete free reign to fly that shuttle wherever he wants over most of that base because, as you said, vultures do not fire up, neither do tanks, neither do SCVs for that matter, neither do basically anything that RTG has. And so he's going to be able to micro like crazy. Is his micro going to be able to accomplish enough is the question here, though. Is he going to be able to get enough of an advantage having not expanded when RTG did uh, to make up for that? Critically, he didn't expand because I think did a zealot move out there. Uh, there was a mine blockading that natural expansion for a large period of time. So things actually oh, not as ooh, reaver, died. reaver out. So White needed to get a lot more out of this reaver, and he's going to call yeah, he's going to call GG <laughs> because that second expansion was delayed so long by that mine, and he didn't wow. get enough economic damage that he was looking for with those two factories down. Realizing nope, not going to get it done. So going to call GG there. We will. You want to keep this rolling? I'm going to keep this rolling as long as you want to keep it rolling. And maybe we can get your volume adjusted so it's a little bit less off balance uh, in between uh, I here. I did turn it up by about 50%. So We'll ask in chat in the meantime, and we'll maybe close out this group. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.